Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about what you are going to speak or what you are going to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father is speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecuted you in one town, fled to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in the doctrine of the Church, we are proposed three theological virtues, faith, hope, and charity. We are also proposed four cardinal virtues, prudence, justice, fortitude, and temperance. These latter virtues are acquired, whereas the theological virtues are infused, that is, given to us at the moment of baptism. The four cardinal virtues are acquired and are considered fundamental because they are the axis around which all the other virtues revolve. Prudence, for example, is the virtue that allows us to discern and choose the appropriate means to achieve good in every circumstances. In today's gospel that we are meditating on, Christ warns his apostles that they will be sent out as sheep among wolves and tells them to be as prudent as serpents and as innocent as doves. Although we are citizens of heaven and have a powerful weapon, faith, and hope. The enemy will always be inciting that we stop following Christ, stop bearing witness to Him, and lead us down to the path of perdition, destruction. We might think that the devil is at the end of the line, at the end of all the followers of Christ, not because he is one of more of the followers, but we must be alert as he is waiting for someone to stop being a follower of Christ and to turn them into his followers. The enemy prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. So we must be prudent and cunning. Jesus tells us in another passage on the gospel, you will be hated by everyone because of me. But the one who stands firm to the end and will be saved. We will be hated for declaring that Christ is our Lord. This continuous struggles is also a warranty that we are trying to follow Christ. Throughout history, there have been many martyrs whose blood has become a seed for new Christians. For if people do these things with the tree is green, what will happen with the dry tree? Evil is overcome by good. The word demands that we abandon the path of truth in Christ, because we know that Christ is the truth, that Christ is the way, that Christ is the life. We know that the truth is not negotiable, because true is not just something. True is not a mere concept. True has a face, and that face is the face of our Lord Jesus Christ. We cannot accept the destruction of the person. For example, the word demands that we accept abortion, euthanasia, 
gender ideology, and many other practices that go against the dignity of the person. We have reached to the point of saying that a baby in his mother's womb is not a person, and we must fight to defend the dignity of the person. We must strive to be true witnesses of Christ, because the true is not negotiable.